What's up, y'all? I got a banger from Cosmic Verse. Let's get straight into it. Leftover women mad, bro. I am seriously struggling to date in this generation. This is for all my single friends over 50. Why do you think it's so difficult to find companionship at is our age? Is she driving? Age? I am done. Finished Vinito with American men. Dating over It doesn't get easier across the pond either, honey. D is not easy. Expecting a man to handle that baggage is the issue. Nobody wants to sign up for that. For real, you though, real, though. Me and the dating department right now are struggling a lot. So I'm going to be honest. Dating What's is up not with all these mid-women talking about the dating department? Shots fired! <laughs> no, Shots fired! I don't know if y'all have noticed, but I have a little bit of a different attire on today. It's because it's your boy's birthday. It's my birthday, man. I'm 34 years old, so I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and rock the rock the little Gucci track suit for the boys. You know what I'm saying? I had to. I had to, man. I had to. All right, let's get back to it. I'm sorry. Not fun anymore. Inspector Hillary here, and just here to say that dating in your 50s sucks. Most of them have become invisible to men. What's, what's the, the lady from the magic school bus, Mrs. Frizzle? Shots fired! What's Shots fired! She looks, like, she looks like her mom. <laughs> now it's a struggle competing for the spotlight. Kindly subscribe to the channel, as it is our sole form of support. Thank you. As you get older, your priorities change. When I was younger, I used to date to marry, like seriously, like not letting people waste my time just to marry. Now that I done got older, I have one simple thing I'm dating for and that's the fuck. Have you been on Tinder? Have you been on Tinder at the age of 56? Oh, dang. Or am I 57? I can't remember. Anyways, it's not fun. Ladies, let me tell you, it is not fun. It's the thing I don't understand. My bio on Tinder says, She's a runner, she's a track star. <laughs> Imagine. Her bio just has a running emoji. <laughs> and like a trail, oh my god. I'd rather meet a man drunk in a bar the old fashioned way. But I don't go to bars anymore, so here I am. Yeah, there you go. Yet I still seem to attract these. Well, I always say, man, you do not meet your significant other at the bar. You don't meet your wife at the club. You don't meet your husband at the bar. So, like, clearly your tactics haven't been working, honey. It's better, like, I want to get to know your heart. Can we go for a walk in the park with my dog? Like, what the fuck? I know I'm 56, but really, I'm I'm not at the age where I want to go for walks in the park with dogs. Bet your hips bad enough where you can barely walk as it is. <laughs> to my 56, baby girl, you better be grasping at straws. And I don't wanna talk about love in the first five minutes of a chat on social media online dating app sad bro it's weird it's really really fucking weird because if they're not talking about love they're talking you about know it is weird that these men are willing to give you a chance shots fired shots fired that is weird sex sex that they're never gonna have because they probably haven't had it in the last 10 years i mean neither have i but i'm just saying yeah. This is why so many people have told women countless times. This is why I say, man, women grow old, they never grow up. She still got the headband on, the little lipstick, the stuff that like middle school girls are doing. Her mindset hasn't changed. She's went through the dating market probably for 20 plus years and still thinks that every guy just wants to come in and buck. Most guys do. She's pretty right about that. <laughs> But the thing is, at this age, men are actually looking to, you know, build the rest of their life with each other, be in a relationship. People realize that once you get older, if you don't have a lot of money, I know the modern dating scene sucks, but so does getting hurt physically. Have you ever been the victim of a personal injury case? Every year as an image consultant, I meet so many different types of clients, and a lot of them are recovering from injuries or accidents, ranging from car accidents to workplace injuries. And I was extremely surprised to see how many people lost their personal injury cases, which is why I'm here to talk about Morgan and Morgan, America's largest injury law firm. They specialize in a wide variety of personal injury cases, and they have won thousands of big cases. And if you do end up working with them, they will fight for the money you deserve. Just recently, Morgan and Morgan secured verdicts of $12 million in Florida and $26 million in Philly. That's up to 40 times the highest insurance offer. And I'm telling you, your case could be worth millions. 
And the best part is it's all free unless you win your case. If you have also been a victim of a personal injury or a serious accident, you can visit www.forthepeople.com slash Levi. Found in the description below where you can start your free claim today. It's really hard to just be alone and be by yourself. It's not easy. Sick and tired of all these Australian men still living with their parents. Like, is this a common thing or is this just a me issue? Am I picking yes. the wrong guys? Yes. Because, like, how am I supposed to be a stay-at-home wife when there is no home to stay at? That's what I'm saying. Oh, my God. So, I'm currently out for dinner with this guy. He's, like, 22. He's a plumber. You know, it's our first date. And we just finished our dinner, and he said he was going to the bathroom, and it's been, like... We call this the Houdini, gents. Let's just see. Let's see if he pulls a fast one on her. 20 minutes and he hasn't returned. King. And I still have to get the bill, but I don't think he's coming back. I think he actually bailed on me, and so I have to get the bill now. Let's see how much this bill is, though. I just got home, and I am absolutely fuming. This guy has literally bailed on me. And I had to pick up the bill. It was over two hundred dollars. That's not okay. I mean, I'm gonna keep it a buck. Why are you running up a bill of two hundred dollars on a first date? He hasn't even messaged me or anything. He literally just disappeared. What a king. Me. He's gone. What a king. Like what? Wow, about time. Yeah, I mean, hey, at least this man got a free meal out of it. Shout out to my guy, bro. Shout out to my guy. But the thing is, you ladies think it's okay to go run up a two hundred dollar bill? Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the chat. What is the threshold of an amount of money that a woman can you or if, how much would you spend on a first date? I'm gonna keep it a buck. I, I'm thinking less than fifty dollars. <laughs> less than fifty. Over fifty is like I better be getting the cheeks because if I'm spending over fifty dollars, you're coming home with me. But under fifty bucks is like cool. You know what? I'll go out. I'll get a bagel with you. Get you a little coffee or something. But this is why I say, bro, like, this is why I say you don't take a girl out to dinner the first date. You do not do that. The first thing you do is ask a girl out for coffee or go, or go to a, a cafe. You do that because here's the, here's, the, here's the progression of it. Women don't want to just go to dinner because after dinner is what? Going home. And then it's like it gets a little stale. What you can do is take her out to a coffee and be like, you know what? This is going really well. Why don't we go get lunch? Why don't we go get this? We, you go get a small bite somewhere. And then after that, if that went well, then you take her to a bar, go play some bar games. Then after that, more than likely, you can bust the cheeks. That's the, that's the progression of what you need to do. Nowadays, that's what it has to be. Back in the day, you could take a girl out to dinner and you can go beat the cheeks. It was that simple. But now, it has to be a progression. And then at the end of it, maybe she'll invite you back or she'll want to come back to your crib. But like, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Do you agree or disagree with that? I just feel like women these days, they need like that progression of like, oh, we were here and now we're here. Now we're there. And then, then we'll see what, what unfolds for the rest of the night. Seriously struggling to date in this generation. I don't know if it's a whole generational thing or if it's just the men in my city or the men in Australia. It's you. <laughs> That's what I thought this year. It's you, honey. Yeah, but I went on a date overseas and was absolutely floored by the fact that this man, when he came to pick me up, got out of his car and opened the car door for me to get into the passenger side. And then I sat with that for a little bit. How low are my fucking standards? That that excited me. That's really sad. I mean, he actually turned out to be a bit of a wanker anyway, but at least he opened the car door, right? Baby steps. Personally, as a man, I've learned the That's hard... Wild, bro. You only open the door for a girl that you are with. You don't just open the, the door for a girl that you um, are courting. The, the courting phase is dead, though. Well, chivalry's dead and women killed it. There's a point in time when society stops thinking that you're attractive, redeeming you attractive, and... and Who's going to tell her? Who's going to tell her? Therefore, like, you lose all of the worth and the value that and the privilege that came with being attractive. Excuse me while I go on a rant for a second. Ooh. There's this trend I'm seeing where 50 to 60, 70 year old women are saying that they feel invisible. Y'all are. And I just want to say, I see you. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> oh, well, why don't y'all just move in together? This is why we're seeing this new influx of sister wives. You guys have seen them, or daughter wives, sister wives. These ladies get so old they can't get a man, so they move in with their friends. They bring all their cats, their dogs, and start a petting zoo. I see you. I see you. <laughs> Honey, they don't want to be seen by you. You, and you are fucking beautiful. 
You are the embodiment of the life-giving, divine, feminine energy on this planet. Single women keep women single, bro. Misery loves company, and this woman is just perpetuating it. It's beautiful. And not a damn thing can diminish that shine. Yeah. This is not the message we want to send to the youth. That there's this wall that you hit, and on the other side of that wall, you're invisible, or you're not seen as attractive. Who came up with the standard of attractiveness anyway? Was it men? (laughs) We run the relationships. Women control access to sex. Men control access to relationships. If you guys aren't in relationships, it's because men aren't cuffing you. Men? Have you seen men lately? The part of our species that put in 10% of the effort and get 1,000% in return? And is that standard of attractiveness is because they want to have sex with you? Really? That's the bottom line? Ladies, we need to stop. That's the bottom line. Up. Our attractiveness, our worth does not come from whether or not somebody wants to have sex with us. We haven't cultivated all I mean, I hate this- to say it, that's a big part of it. <laughs> the way you look. We, we're, we're looking at that. You're looking at your fertility, your youth, your beauty. That's why women lie. Or sorry, that's why women wear makeup and men lie. It's because we care more about what you look like. How is this lady this old and still so far gone? The strength and intelligence and energy for that. You don't care about Let's that. Let's normalize making vibration the standard of attractiveness. Exuding joy. When anybody says they have to normalize something, it already tells you that it's abnormal to want to do that. So she knows innately, deep down, that her beauty matters, which is why she's probably alone, crying in her car and, and doing all this. But she knows, because if you have to normalize something, that means it's not normal. Normalizing vibrations? What? <laughs> Stupid. Vibrations? Oh, you mean that little pocket rocket you got at the crib? <laughs> Those vibrations? Boy, freedom, enthusiasm, fun, cultivating that vibration, showering it all over. Bro, she sounds like a third grade teacher. Shots fired! Shots fired! Like when I was when I was in third grade, I was super dumb. I still am dumb. But that's neither here nor there. It sounds like one of my third grade teachers telling me, it's okay, enjoy your vibrations when I couldn't spell the color like green. Like when I couldn't spell green, she's like, hey, you know, just your vibrations and this and that. That's what it sounds like to me. For ourselves and exuding it out into the world. Attractiveness is a vibration. Do not buy into the paradigm that it is just the flesh. Well, no one <laughs> came up with that. <laughs> Honey, you should have bought into the paradigm that is just a flesh because uh, you're alone. You are alone. Misery loves company, man. These older women want to keep other women single. But single women keep women single. Ladies, if you want to go out there and get you a man, you need to be friends with women that have a man. Same thing for guys. Guys, you want to find a good woman? You need to be friends with men that have a good woman in their life. Because you will sit there and be alone, alone, alone if you're not surrounding yourself with people that are at least doing what you want to do in your life. I am a 50-year-old woman Damn. who is child-free by choice. Child-free by choice. What well, is this a new term? And I want to talk to the younger women. Please don't. And let them know what I regret about okay. my decision to not have children. Okay. And, you know, this might be difficult for some of you to hear, but I want to be honest. Please do. So... Here are my regrets about not having children. She's gonna be like, I have none. None, there's none. It's fucking Uh, fantastic. It's a great decision for me. Fellas, you ever hear women say, I am single by choice. It doesn't make any sense. Trust me, I know. By the end of this video, you'll know the truth behind women who say they're staying single by choice. So, the man she desires doesn't want her. She can't find men who aren't enough for the lifestyle she wants while still having to work and pay significant bills. Thanks. This woman is average at best, and the men she thinks she can get when she steps out with her BDL, lip injections, breast implants, excessively long lashes, Japanese cherry blossom body spray, everyday waist trainer, lace front, double chin, and French manicure only care to increase her body count. Be cautious of women who are self-improving. They will continue to bust it open. Once she's qualified for you, she'll have her preferred sex position, flowers, restaurants, deal breakers, and at least 10,000 followers. So, translation, I'm slutting till Mr. Right come. See you on the next one. She's a runner, she's a track star. (laughs)
Who will let this man cook? Single by Who let this man cook? Ladies, you can't be single by choice. Because we all know that you're hypergamous and you want the best. And if you are alone, that means you could never procure the best. You could never get a man. It's okay, just take this L. Here, take it. Or is it this way? Take this L. Here, I'll just hand it to you. You can have it. And then just, you know, I guess go home to your cats with it. But if you think you can stomach another woman wearing your robe and your slippers, running your household and being good to your man in all the ways you know she can, you keep on treating them like trash like you're doing. It can happen. I love you. Be well. When a woman is done with you, she will always leave in peace. When a woman fights with you, however, she is probably going to stay and try to work things out with you. Because women, when we fight, it's because we care. But when we stop fighting, it's because we stop caring. And when we stop caring, we walk away. That's why when a woman is truly done with you, she will literally take her things, pack everything up, mourn the relationship, and then walk out the door and never, ever look back. This isn't something that's only unique to women. I was about to say, I feel like men do this as well. I don't know, let me know in the comments. Do you think men do this just as much as women do? I think it's just like a, a mature person thing. If you know, you know what you're going to deal with and what you're going to put up with, which first of all, if you're putting up with things in a relationship, it's probably not a good relationship. But, you know, at the end of the day, men and women both do this. Oh, my goodness. This lady looks like a burnt cigarette. Shots fired. Shots fired. Honey, get out of the sun. Put on sunscreen. You guys want to look younger? Put on sunscreen. I'm 34 today. Do I look 34? Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the chat. Do I look 34? I put on sunscreen every day. This is for all my single friends over 50. Is she driving? Why do you think it's so difficult? to find companionship at our age because you gave up the best years you gave up the best years of your life to be a runner she's a runner she's a track star you got a bunch of mileage now and now you expect a good man to pick up the pieces of all the trauma that the other men never wanted to deal with that's the problem and it's a you problem it's not a men problem why do you think it's so hard for us to date no it's it's really hard for men to want to date you you're used up there's no cool experiences that we can go through life together with. We, we, there's nothing we can do. You've probably had your first dog. You've probably had your first cat. <laughs> you might even have a house. You bought your first car. Nothing's exciting anymore. And if it, personally, if I'm a guy who's in my 50s, I'm going for a girl that's in like her 30s at the most. She can get on my program. She's got less mileage. You know what I mean? She's probably fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive. You ladies get older and you become combative. You're not submissive anymore. You're combative. You're masculine. You're argumentative. It's tough. I didn't think it was going to be this difficult to ever find someone just to share the simple pleasures of life. But man, it's... Bro, that filter working overtime trying to get that face. <laughs> <laughs> that filter's like, we're cooking over here, I promise. It's crazy out there. Yeah. Whether you use a dating app, I know meeting someone through another friend... That doesn't always end up too good when it doesn't work out. Mm. I don't know. Maybe we've got to figure this code out. You are we wanting too much? Are we expecting too much? Yes, yes. There we go. We're getting. We're getting. I closer. know that I'm not. I mean. <laughs> are we wanting too much? Are we expecting too much? I know it's not me. It is you. If you're alone, it's you. At this time in our lives, most of us have our own dwellings, jobs. Obviously, we're supporting ourselves. We took all the filling out of the pie. So it should just be fun, companionship, laughter. And yet, it's stupid how difficult it is so if you break the code and you want to share it with me i'd love to know what it is time is it's a wrap oh shit, oh, shit. Oh, shit. there's no code here's the thing ladies from the ages of 18 to 24 is when you have the, the most compatibility with a man because you have a you don't have a lot of trauma you're willing to get on his page and more than likely you're willing to deal with things you wouldn't deal with in your 50s you're in your 50s it's a wrap it's done 
You don't want to sacrifice. You don't want to compromise anything. You're going to die alone, probably. It's ticking. The simple truth is that by the time you hit... Right, it's just it, the damage is already done. And more than likely at that time, you're a single mom. You're a single mom. You said I would ask you. You got kids what are you going to give the next man you're 50 you can't have kids you're argumentative combative Stay what are we getting for it's a something. raw deal for us men a real raw deal an extremely raw one so let's talk about this dating in your 40s game mm. how many of you guys out there are 40 and over and back into the dating game either never being married or after divorce or a long relationship um it's a whole new ball game. I know for me, um, after being married for a while and back in the dating game, what do you guys experience? I've had some crazy ones. I could write a book about my dates. She's a runner. She's a track star. Got some crazy ones, huh? Let's hear about it. Crazy, crazy ones. What do you guys got? I am done. Finished Vinito with American Men. Bro, I think I saw her in Ratatouille. Shots fired. Is that Shots her? fired. <laughs> No, 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 because tell me why that men here can't plan for shit. Even when they ask you out, they still expect you to plan your own date. Yet I have not one, not two, three men that I met in France. Who she's a runner, she's a track star. Tell us about your roster, honey. I love the bop lore. Let's get some bop lore in the chat here. Hashtag bop lore. Maybe even throw it in the comments if you want. I love it when a woman tells us about her bop lore who are texting and calling me, who are making plans three months in advance for when I come to visit. It just, it's really not that hard. I might be on the hunt for a green card this summer. I used to plan dates, but after getting rejected. Yiggity yikes, good lord, talking about the bop lore. These ladies don't realize that this stuff looks, it's a bad look. So I'm gonna be honest, dating is not fun anymore. Um, there's a whole lot of red flags in this little dating pool, and let it's me the constant preening for me and the looking around like somebody actually cares. <laughs> but let's hear it. For you, I am quick to delete and block this guy. And she's bad at best. Them, cute messages me first thing. Did what you? are you doing on this dating app? You just are so blah blah blah, and I'm like, okay. Didn't respond, messaged me, what do you want? I want this, just kind of like a partner, not really a relationship, but just kind of see how it goes. Also, do you have a snap? Mm, nobody. I do not want to be sent, sent some random pictures and you know what I'm talking about. Um, no. I was, I was unsolicited, no. get you every time. Red flags, there's lots of red flags out there. All I keep doing is catching red flags. I'm done catching red flags. You sure you aren't catching bodies? Shots fired! Shots fired! If you can relate, put a red flag in the comments. I am done. You guys. Wow, she's funny. <laughs> <laughs> We're laughing with you, honey, not at you, I promise. Me and the dating department right now are struggling a lot. Sometimes I feel this as though- This one is single-handedly keeping Ulta in business. Shots fired! Shots fired! Golly, got enough powder on her face to bake a freaking cake. <laughs> Gosh, so much makeup. You don't even look, it doesn't even look like a person anymore. I'm the problem. Yes, you are. But you Ooh. know what? I don't think I am. I just know what <sighs> I want. And it's true what they say, the older you get, the harder it is to find someone, the pickier you become. I'll show you something hard. I have two issues. I either find the nice ones that are really, really nice, but they're boring and there's no connection I or I whatever. Love I love it. And then I find the ones that I'm attracted to and I like. The chats. They're okay for a week. And then their true colors come out. Yeah. And then you're just like, no. They realign your spine and bust your cheeks and they're like, on to the next. Stupid. Onward. You, you might be good looking or whatever, but it's just not going to work. And what I've realized that dating is not hard. Communicating is not hard. I don't understand why people make it so difficult at the early stages of dating. You know what I've just realized? I've realized that men are so slow 
when it comes to maturity. Like they really are behind women. And I'm just dating. There's nothing wrong with dating and getting to know people. I just know that my time right now is not to be in a relationship and that is totally fine. If you keep attracting the same type. If that's what you want to do, baby, you want to be a runner? I'm cool with it. Go do the running activities. Go run. Run, Forrest, run! Does somebody want a Chinola? Come here. Sit. Wait. Free. Free. Go to your place. Um, Honey, if you want to belong to the streets, that's cool. We don't really care about that. Let's jump into the Discord. I don't think I opened it up beforehand, so this may take just a second to get open here. Um, but no, nah, dude, shout out to you guys. We are at 78 or 79,000 subscribers. <laughs> shout out to you guys, man. Um, hopefully, by the time this video comes out, we'll be at 80. I doubt it, though, because it's today. And today's my birthday, by the way. Um, don't know if I've said that. Today's my birthday. Uh, let's get into this. All right, let's get into the Discord here. This one's from Yang. Lily wants to date a gamer. Gamer boyfriend. I think this belongs here. Me from wrong. The gamer video posted me reminding me of this clip. Okay, yeah, this is from Yang VT in the Discord. Shout out to you, my friend. Let's, put this, let's pull this up and see what we got. Girls. Whoa, what is this? Is this a VTuber stuff? Okay, girls, girls. Girls, listen to this. This may may speaks the truth. Good news is, if anything happens, you have I'm confused. <laughs> Alright, bro. I, I appreciate you sharing it. I can't hear it. I can't hear the commentary. I can't hear anything. So we're going to go to this other one. Rockstar Sama. This is... I'm sure you guys will love this one. This one's... This Karen forced the airplane to land. Ooh. Gotta love Karen's, dude. Hey, how are you doing tonight? Hey, ma'am, how you doing? It's 16 minutes long. I don't know if we'll be able to get through all this. Let's get, uh, let's get maybe to the beef of it. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Most replayed. Let's get to here. Oh my god. Purpose. You guys are doing this. Stop, please. Oh my gosh. Because of my back. Oh my god. Oh. Ma'am, can you go? I need to be left alone. No, no, no you're not. not. Let's go. You guys need to leave me alone. You are that no, was the uh, wrong person. You need to leave. That's not hey, me. Tell her she needs to leave. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I don't need you guys Man, around me. This leave. is Ill, Ill awful. He is asking you, you to leave. Ill awful? <laughs> <laughs> I've heard it called illegal, never ill awful. Would you have to press? Actually, I, I would love a good old hell awful. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> what a falafel. Charges? Did I accept the deal? I'm Would you like to press charges? Would you like to press charges? I'm calling my lawyer. Press press I'm calling my lawyer. Yeah, take my lawyer. Are you kidding me? Stop! Stop! Okay, what? Stop! Ooh, 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 ooh. You're, You're under back? arrest. Because of my back? Man, no. What is wrong? Because you... Okay, I'll come back. I asked you to leave and you didn't want to leave. Please, stop, stop resisting. What is stop going on here? Please, stop. Put your hand behind your back. Stop, please. Put your hand okay, behind your back. I will comply. What do you want from me? Ma'am, he asked you to leave. We asked you to leave. You didn't want to leave. Ow, 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 ow. You, you broke it. You broke my hand. Ma'am. Please, my finger hurts. Please. Nobody's hurting you. Please. Put your hand stop. behind your back. Ma'am, comply. Please, stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great video, man. That's what I'm saying, dude. If you get pulled over by the cops, just comply. If they tell you to get off the, the plane, just leave. If they tell you to sit, do something, just dip, bro. But this is what's so crazy to me. And I see this even in my life nowadays with the older women. These older women, they still have sky-high standards. They really do think that a man's going to come up, sweep them off their feet, and be their knight in shining armor even though they're 56 years old. Honey, nobody's coming to save you. So here's the, here's the advice I have for these older ladies. Get a good job and save your money. Because before you know it, it's going to be a wrap for you. And you're going to need about a million dollars to retire. You better be pumping up that 401k. You better have your you better have your Roth IRAs maxed out. I hope you got a high yield savings account. I hope you got all that. Because it's going to be a wrap for you when you get older. This is why I preach relationships, though, and I talk about we're better together and together we're better in building these meaningful relationships because the cost of living is so high right now, you almost need two, two incomes just to live comfortably. And the thing is, the people that build generational wealth usually have a family. There's a man and a woman. you got to divide and conquer, right? It takes a village to raise a kid. And with how many kids these days are born in single mother households and that are degenerates, 
And don't take my word for it. I got a study. Um, we'll talk about the studies. We'll talk about the stats. 60 to 70% of kids that are um, in fatherless homes are just going to be degenerates. Just it is what it is, dude. Like, I don't make the rules. I just enforce them. Uh, let's see if we can't do. All right, we'll have to do it. 63% of uh, unalivings, homelessness, runaway children, R words, 71% of dry, uh, high school dropouts, 75% of adolescent patients in chemical abuse, 85% of all youth sitting in prisons grew up in fatherless homes. These women are going out there, they're having kids with men that they don't want to be with, and then wondering why the kids aren't good. Well, honey, I don't believe, and let me know in the comments if you agree with this, I don't think women should be trying to raise men. I think men should raise men and women should raise women. I think men should raise boys to be men and men to be husbands, right? And I think women should raise girls to be women and those women to be wives. It's a general progression, but the thing is we've lost our way in modern society where women don't know how to be wives anymore. And men, I think, still know how to be husbands, but they don't want to because they see what they got to pick from and they're like, goodness gracious. Like, this is the selection? It's like going to a buffet and everything's rotten. It's like, ugh. The crab legs are old. There's musty falafels. Illawful. <laughs> this is illawful falafel. I'm sorry, that, that got me, bro. That got me. Oh, my God. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Um, Loki, did you have a good time? My man's dug in deep. I'll be back to the regular scheduled programming tomorrow, but I had to put on the little Gucci tracksuit for you guys. But I really do appreciate all the love and support, man. Channel's growing like crazy. 80K around the corner. I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.